So it's March 2023 and you're looking for the best way for your Amazon device to boot into a custom launcher. Now it doesn't matter if your device is the 4K Fire Stick or the third generation Fire TV Cube, whether your device runs Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7, there is a very easy way to do this. Now again, depending on your device, you do have to use a separate program because if you try to use the wrong program onto the 4K Fire Stick, your application will actually crash. But as you can see on my device, I'm currently testing on the 4K Fire Stick. We can see that my device has just booted up and without me touching anything, in a couple of seconds, we are now straight into a custom launcher. So in this video today, let me show you exactly how you can get these two options, regardless of your device. Then I'll also show you some of the best launches that you can use as of March 2023. So let's jump right into it. Now, the two applications that you need, depending on your device, we have the launch on boot here which is perfect for your fire os 6 devices so that's what i'm using on my 4k fire stick now if you have a newer device like the third generation fire tv cube or the second generation fire tv cube or the fire stick Lite or the 4k fire stick max basically fire os 7 devices then i recommend you use auto star no root because this one just seems to work a little bit better now, unfortunately, if you try to use this one on your 4K Fire Stick, we can see that I can start the application. Now, typically this should show you all of your installed applications. You would then go down in the list and choose what you want to start. But we can see on my 4K Fire Stick, as I scroll down, it just crashes. So let's try that again. Scrolling down and it just crashes. So definitely for the 4K Fire Stick or really any Fire OS 6 device, I definitely recommend that you choose Launch on Boot instead. Now to get Launch on Boot or even Auto Star on this device, all you need to do is just jump over to Downloader. And guys, in case you're wondering where is the breaking news, I have been a bit busy finishing off my TDUK app killer. And I just, I'm just so excited to share it with you because in my demonstration, my device had 66 applications running in the background and I was able to close all of them in less than one second. And I verified that by opening up the background apps and task list and no other app was running other than my TDUK app killer. So do leave me a comment below if you are excited as me waiting for this application to be published on the Amazon App Store as well as the Play Store. Okay, let's open up Downloader. Always click on Allow. Always click on OK. And we can now just type in 53402. And this is the quickest way to get to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Now, when you get to my site, head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines. Click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get launch on boot or auto star no root. So let's open that up. Here we are. So we can see we have two options. Again, depending on your device, you can scroll down. And it's all of that, we should have those two options. So again, as I'm on my 4K Fire Stick, I would use the first option here. If you're on a newer device, like the Fire TV Cube, go for the second one. So that really is the best way as of March 2023 on how you can get a custom launcher or really any application, like for example, the care application to automatically start every time your Fire Stick boots. And let me now show you a couple of different launches that you may want to try. So the great thing about the launch I'm going to show you in this video is not only does it support the latest Android 12, also has some fantastic features including using the internet to download wallpapers automatically and it even cycles those wallpapers automatically. But the key thing is with this single application, it has the built-in mechanism to disable your stock launcher. So previously you may have typed in some ADB commands or maybe used Launcher Manager, but unfortunately with Android 12, if you never used Launcher Manager before on a clean install, you'll now no longer have the ability to disable the stock launcher. Well, this application will do it all for you. Let me give you a quick overview of the application, then I'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can install this on all of your devices. Now, before I start, let me just press, and can you see there, automatically changes the wallpaper, and what a glorious looking wallpaper that is. That looks really nice. By default, you'll have a row here. If I go to the top, go to settings, go to categories. 
and by default the TV apps will be visible like this as well as the mobile apps and this will basically show you all of the applications installed on your device whether they are designed for TVs or maybe some which are designed for phones all of them will appear in a list that we can see here if I scroll down here we are so we have TV apps and I don't have any mobile apps so we have the TV apps here so this now shows all of those applications installed on my device now instead of scrolling through a big list what you probably want to do is to create categories and you can then move these applications into those categories so let's say we want to create a new category just for a test so if I go back to the top click on settings click on categories add a new category and we just call this one premium maybe for your premium app so let's click that in let's now go back now for us to use a category, all we want to do now is find whichever application you want to move into the premium category. For example, Apple TV, long press the select button and now see the option add to premium. Click on that. Now if I go back to the top, we can see we have a new category created called premium and the application gets moved into there. where we can see all of our favorite applications. We can see the current weather for my location. I have all of my categories, all of my favorite applications. And of course, without seeing any of that sponsored content, any of those Amazon adverts, I really can go ahead and customize my device exactly how I like it. So I would say for somebody that's looking for a quick and easy to use launcher, this one also ticks that box. It'll look more or less like this, where you'll have a row for your video apps, which it will automatically detect. You have something for music, then you have all of your applications there. But again, guys, we can see in terms of a home screen, it's super quick. You can quickly navigate around. You see all of your third party applications. And of course, without seeing any of those annoying Amazon adverts. Now in terms of customization, if you go to this cog wheel on the top right, let's click on that. Let's start with the weather first, because I know lots of you actually like the home screen widgets. So Let's get to weather preferences. Let's turn on the weather. Now I personally turn this option off. I just find it a bit quicker and just set the location yourself. So I can go on this. And for example, I just say New York, click on next. That's now gone in. You can now show the location. And if you want to use Imperial units, you can, but let's leave that as default. Let's go back, back again. And in a couple of seconds now, it will have the location there and we should start seeing the weather for that location. So it works out the box. Don't need to install any other add-ons or anything like that. We can see it's a nice 12 degrees in New York. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below and let me know which of the launches that you liked. Also, let me know if you're excited about the TDUK app killer, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.